This is how I transform Janusz from this into this. In this video series, I tried to solve a pressing problem in our society. So hear me out for a second. Since we don't know how most VTubers look like IRL, I came up with a big brain solution, a big, big, large brain solution. I took it upon myself to Photoshop them as realistic as possible by just using their model. With the rule that at the end, it should look somewhat decent and not, and I repeat not, make you want to vomit out of your eye sockets. And since you guys seem to really love my last video where I made Iron Mouse super realistic, I just had to get to work on my next project straight away ASAP. The only thing I needed to know first was which viral tube is next. And thankfully, Flick Gambler made my decision kinda easy. He suggested the world famous cute cat Nyan, who lore wise is the lost child of Cthulhu or something. I mean, you know, the thing written by this guy called HP Lovecraft? Uh, yeah, that guy. And whilst I'm not that familiar with HP Lovecraft's work since I usually try to invest in stamina, I know that he does spooky stuff. And as you may know, we are close to Halloween, so it's the perfect reason for me to put some flair into the final model and add a creepy atmosphere into the picture at the end. But I mean, you guys will see soon. So what are we waiting for, boys and girls? Let's start with El Gato. Sorry, but adding Spanish to random phrases is just a funny to me. Now, fellow artists, get your cat trees ready because we are starting with the years, the most central part of El Gato. First off, I'ma drop in that thick furry texture collected straight from the nearby furry convention. Then I take a color sample of Giorno Giovanna's nipples from Jojo's Bizarre Adventure and apply it to the ears and voila, me corazón está caliente. Okay, okay, I will, I will stop with Spanish, okay? Nyan has some woolly things in her ears as well, so let's put a fluffy texture in there. Next up, the hair. And remember how last episode I kind of went insane doing the hair? Hair should be easy, right? It's just a blob of textures that you can manipulate and dump on your model. <laughs> well, if I went insane in the previous episodes, then I think in this episode my soul traveled straight to the Shadow Realm. Because oh boy, I destroyed the work done till now in record time. Gold split even. Here's the result and well, let's just say I didn't quite achieve my goal of doing what I said in the intro because I had to vomit out of my eye sockets right there. And for good reason, I mean look at this! I could literally take a shit in the corner of my room and take a picture with my Nintendo 3DS and it would look more appetizing than this. So. So as you can imagine, I needed a bit of time off after such a successfully failed task. And after two days, thankfully, I felt rejuvenated again, turning Yan back into Saitama and began to start with the clothes, leaving the hair for another time. So let's get started with the clothes. Now to the untrained eye, this may seem like a pretty cool outfit, resembling a Harry Potter cosplay. And to that, I say bullshit! This is a completely original design, made without any external disturbances or inspirations as you dweebs call it. And I, for such, am so proud to reconstruct this revolutionary piece of clothing. So anyway, let's continue with our photoshop of Robin from Super Smash Bros. Obviously I'm joking, but in all seriousness, I love this part of the edit in particular. Adding textures to the clothing makes it so much easier to sell the image as something realistic. And as a graphic designer who loves his fabric material in his designs, I couldn't be happier to work on this type of clothing. This is what I would have said if I didn't lose 5 hours of footage of me designing all that little parts in her design by telling my recording software to, instead of capturing photoshop, record itself. Thanks open broadcast software. Once I'm done with you, they will be calling you closed broadcast software. <laughs> Got him. So what I decided to do instead is show you every single piece one by one in a speedrun format. So let's start. First, add black textures for the rope, add expensive gold to flex on the peasants and add more bling bling with a golden moon and purple fabric. By the way, fun fact, purple fabric was considered a super expensive item in medieval times since they got the purple color out of snail shells of a rare species. Imagine seeing a reality nowadays wearing like a Gary shell from Spongebob. Fucking weird ass aristocrats. Oh wow, Ezio just landed us his cape. Look at that, left side done. Duplicate all the content we made and change its name, just like a new FIFA game. And bam, right side done as well. And thanks to you guys in the comments, I finally know that this piece in the middle is called a corset. Now I don't ever have to look up kinky BDSM dominatrix porn as reference against my will ever again. Instead I do it with consent 8 hours a day. At least lose his forehead and we are done. Bam, record time baby. Next up the face. And as always the face isn't too hard to create. There is only 
one rule with the face. If you don't mess with it, then it won't mess with you. So finally, time to get back to the final boss. With now 3 more Essence Flasks in my possession and my Arcane stat maxed, I'm ready to get my John Wick style revenge. And I think I figured out the problem. The problem was the original texture of the hair. The original texture had a complete different hair flow than the shape of the hair, so in essence... Uh, excuse me... I'm Charles, a famous hairologist, and I can tell you where your errors lie. It is your uninformed assumption that Nian had hair in the first place. You see, Nian is a cat. <laughs> anyway, let's proceed with the hair. And look at this! It's the perfect material of hair that we needed to finish Nian's model. Just lying there. How curious. Now back to the problem. I feel like the part that made her hair so incredibly hard sell and so unrealistic was the sheer volume and girth of her twin tails and in the in the back yeah i mean seriously this stuff could fit two giant indian elephants or a whole nikocado avocado in with ease that's why to somehow recreate this absurd hairstyle and get somewhat realistic looks i downloaded over 30 different woman hairstyles and looking back at it i must have looked like either a creepy kira 2.0 from jojo's being obsessed with hair instead of nails or the most dedicated barbershop owner in town but with a bit deformation and 12 cups of nyana's purple mic macchiato oh, this is our education performance art is not a fetish i got the hair looking decent by no means perfect but i think getting better results than this will be hard hopefully the filter that we're going to apply and the background can mask some of the remaining flaws and since we're trying to make a halloween theme nyan I want to use the background and filter to make her look a bit more ominous than she is now. Starting by browsing for some appropriate eerie backgrounds. And look at this, a perfect ominous background. Expect there is a fellow Italian man throwing away his Pomodoro Sugo, mamma mia! After reporting him, we finally have a clean, ominous place to work with. And we all know what's next to ominous places all the time. A wheat farm. And look at this dope atmospheric smoke that this is producing. Totally doesn't give me a bad trip in a place like this or anything. Wow. Now before we put a filter on this whole image, I wanted to add a light source that lights up Niana's face. And since she's a cat, what better way to make her eyes glow in the dark? Now just apply the filter and this is the final result. And I have to say, I'm really proud of this one. It might even be better than the Iron Mouse one. But anyway, tell me what you think. Oh, and quick question for you as well. What VTuber should I do next? I could do, for example, a Hololive VTuber next as well. Or Wait, hold up. What? What's this thing in Yansai? What is that? Wait, wait, wait! Ah!